Bro, I'm bro. soft, delicate, and silky. But if you're wrapped in me, you'll scream if you can. What am I? Nah, this I, this is freaky. As yeah, this is wild. Shit, this is wild. Soft, delicate, and silky. So think about it like animals. If you're wrapped in me, you'll scream. This animal pause gives off this pause. Gives off it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like it creates this pause. What I am, pause. It's soft, delicate, and silky. So silky is like sticky. Pause. Bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what are we doing right yeah. now? You think you think you gonna let your kids like just just do what? Just wrestle it out. Like fight? Like just like like y'all disagree. Like, how do you feel parenting should go? Do you let the children come up with their own solutions? Or do you get in the middle and be like, we're going to figure this out? It depends on the situation. I feel like, and I feel like it depends on like, oh, that's a good question. Cause there is certain scenarios where like they can hash it out themselves. Like if they're playing like sports or something, mm -hmm. like they can do it themselves. But if it's something like serious where if it's like maybe one is getting picked on in school, he's, the other one don't want to talk to him about it mm -hmm. and he's not trying to help him out. Then that's why I go and be like, yo, nah, you got to help your little brother. Okay, yeah, I jacked that. You know what I mean? That, like, that. if he's like, he's going to his older brother, be like, man, you got to worry about yourself. Then that's when you go in and be like, nah, you got to look after your little brother and little mm -hmm. sister or whatever. I feel like that's the only way. But I feel feel like if it's like, uh, like anything, like a disagreement in the crib, unless they start getting like OD loud and like they're, they're doing, they're maxing, like throwing stuff at each other, mm -hmm. then that's when I'll go in. But if they're like, you know, arguing, I'll let them figure it out themselves until like it maybe like escalates too high where they're like, about to try to maim each other. So would you do you believe in letting them fight it out? Like letting two brothers just just go at it, just figure it out. Like. I, nah, I don't nah, not really. Just maybe just because like I never really had brothers like that. And like <laughs> or like I never had like I have cousins, but I really only I never we never got to a point where it's like it gets like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I never got to a point where I'm gonna fight this guy. Like of course we get angry at each other, but I never got to a point where it's like I'm gonna really like like throw him or something like that. Nah, my house hella testosterone in the house. Bro. Really? Oh well, yeah, so you do got yeah, definitely, old brother. Definitely, definitely fought it out in that group. Really? Yeah, but we either fought it out or joked it out. Like you cook somebody until it's done. Like, that's cool. That's like, cool. You just roast, roast, roast each other. That's why I can roast somebody so quickly. Because that's a also that's a also a way of de-escalating the situation. Which is cool. Which yeah. is cool. But I feel like if it's like. I don't know. I don't, I don't think if it was like a boy and a girl, I don't think I would let them do it because I feel like, uh, that, I feel like that you would have to step you in have to a step little in. bit more because I, I, like like it's like I don't want my son being comfortable talking to a girl a certain way. Yeah, I you know agree. what I mean. And I, I also agree. don't want my daughter being comfortable talking to a guy a, a certain way because you know some guys is freaking nuts. Yeah, I, bro, I agree a hundred percent. You know what I mean. So like you gotta like if it's the same if they're if I if I have like uh, two boys two girls then I let them you know talk it out whatever but if it, if it gets to a point where it's like now they're like really trying to like hurt each other and like it's not like that argument or now it's past it then i'll try to hop in or if it's like boy and a girl oh that's how i feel like i feel is. like the worst thing in the world could could you could have your daughter feel like she could step to a man and have your son feel like he could step he could talk down to a mm -hmm. woman yeah I don't, worst two things you could do yeah bro. like my dad told me early like especially with my little sister like i can't do you can't do certain things with your sister mm -hmm. because one, you're bigger. Mm -hmm. Two, she is a girl. And it's like, you can't, like things I do with my cousins, I can't do with her. Mm -hmm. Like we used to wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my cousins used to wrestle. I used to try to have her into it. I used to pr try to practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> practice for my cousins. Yeah. But she, my dad's like, nah, you better not touch her. I'm not going to lie though. I did have one girl cousin that kind of grew up with us. She used to try to get it. Like, like she used to try to get in, <laughs> but she knew not to come to me. Like, she'll go to, like, the younger ones and shit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's how it is. Like, my sister is, like, the only girl in my on my mom's side. Like, everybody else is boys. So, I used to oh. always wonder how she's going to be. Because she was, oh, like, it's either you're going to, like, step up to it and, like, actually, like, join in. Oh. Or you're just going to, like, be isolated. And that's how she really was most of the time. Oh. And she really wasn't, like out there doing boy stuff with us. She was just doing like, you know, her little girly stuff by herself. And I just used to feel bad. I was just waiting either for one of my cousins, one of my aunts to have like a girl so yeah, she have somebody. Yeah, be with somebody. Word. But she, my aunt had, 
my aunt's, like there's one cousin, but she's like my mom's friend. Mm-hmm. But she's like, I think I forgot how old is she. She's probably like maybe like eight years younger than my sister. Mm-hmm. But she's she acts older as older than her age. Like she's like in high school now, but she like looks a little bit older. Mm-hmm. So so she's able to be with she, yeah she's able to be with my sister and stuff. But other than that, it was just like me and me and my cousins, and then Libby would just be there. Just that's that's interesting you say that because I was actually having a conversation with my cousin uh, Michaela, and we were like we we're talking like on like how important. It is mm-hmm. to have community when you grow up. Yeah. Because I feel like, say, like for the people who, boom, you raised, born and raised in Jersey, cousins in Jersey, mom, sister, uncles, everybody here in Jersey. Mm-hmm. Then you're the person that get up and ship and move to fucking Idaho. Yeah, somewhere far. Somewhere far away. Mm-hmm. So it's like you were raised in community. Mm-hmm. So a lot of your ways, your thoughts, your morals are based off community. Mm-hmm. Now you move and you're just alone with wife and kids. Yeah. It's a little different now. Mm-hmm. So now, say you, you could possibly build a community within the people of your neighborhood, yeah. but it will never be the same as building a community with your family mm-hmm. and friends. Of course. Because you've like, been known for your whole life. Because it's like, you know, you've been used to that, like you said, your whole life. So if you go somewhere that's not where you used to, of course it's gonna be a lot different. Yeah. But that's what a lot of people have been doing nowadays, especially since because you know the market been kind of crazy. Yeah, it be getting cheaper other places. Yeah, so a lot everybody want to move to Texas. Oh All yeah, right, no. you move to Texas. Who you know in Texas? Yeah, no, nobody's over there with you. You I, by yourself. And I feel like that's where it'll be a little bit more. I feel like it might be a little challenging for like couples, mm-hmm. especially at first, because now you're like, dang, it's just us, and now it's like you can't go to certain people. But of course, I feel like it's, it could get better over time because now you get to create your own little thing. Mm-hmm. But it's still like, it's always good to have at least some type of family around, you know? Yeah, I mean? that's what I'm So me, I've always, like I said, we we live with our tribe. Like we actually like like, like Liberian. Like we really got a tribe. Like we really mm-hmm. boss like. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> every, is one big community. So mm-hmm. we raise like that to the point where if somebody see us acting out of order, they're correcting us. Yeah, and it's yeah. not crazy for them to do. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I would kind of want the same for your kids, for my kids. Yeah, I get because you, it helps straighten us out. It helped us to behave no matter where we were. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, so you mean like, like even if they're like further away from where you were born, like say like Union, like you're in South Jersey, you still might have some people around that. Yeah, like uh, I get what like, you mean. So say I'm in South Jersey, but it's still me. Hey, YJ, we all still in the area. Mm-hmm. So it's like, even my, my mother down there. So it's like, me. say I was to start a family in South Jersey. Yeah. It wouldn't be that bad to me because I still have community. Yeah, I get what you mean. So, but if I'm to move to anywhere that's like far shit away. That you don't have no family in? No family or mm-hmm. no friends where it's like, I could build community with friends. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I get what you mean. I feel like that's, that's, how, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you've not built but like you've been accustomed to like Mm -hmm. certain like you know practices or certain people your whole life and then when you up and move somewhere that's kind of far and where you don't really got nobody it's gonna be really weird it might be like that's what it might be really weird but i feel like you can still like manage do you do you have that strength to move out of jersey do i have that strength yeah (laughs) jay's shaking head i think i do but it just depends depends on where you at in life yeah Uh I think it's like I like I don't I don't I don't think you do. You don't think so? I don't it's no. just you know what it is. I don't think you like being uncomfortable. I don't. I don't like it's like I don't know. It's just I feel like I'm leaving something. Mm. But like of course like uh, we might move back, but it's like just not knowing where it is and I feel like I'm I don't even know how to explain it. It's like not knowing my surroundings. Of course, I like new stuff. Yeah. Like, I like being in new places. Like, I like seeing new things and not seeing the same thing I was, like, accustomed to. I, like, I think that's cool. Mm-hmm. But I just... Maybe I just think... I'm just thinking of, like, maybe, like, uh, other people's perspective. Like, how, like, dang, he moved bad far. Like, I'm not going to see him no more. I think mm-hmm. that's what's the main thing with me. But I don't know. I just think maybe there, there might be a time in my life, but I don't know. We'll probably see. Nah. Wh- what I would say is... Why I don't believe that is because I believe you get like you are used to home. Like you like being comfortable. Mm-hmm. You like knowing this, knowing this, knowing this. You don't like the the unknown. Mm-hmm. But I think how I looked at it when I moved away from everybody, it was like 
instead of leaving something behind, I'm going to create something new. Mm. So it's kind of why I, I low key don't want to move back over here. Yeah. Because I've now created something new and created a new dynamic for myself out there. Yeah. But it's also like, say I were to, I love this area so much that if I were to have children, I would know what would go on if they were to be raised here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like to be raised down there. Down there. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, honestly, I wouldn't mind moving to South Jersey. I would like, it's cool. Like if you want to chill out, if you were a vibey person, like you just don't want to get into too much. Yeah. I feel like it's like, like like I said, I like looking at new things. It makes me feel like I'm on vacation. Mm. Like I like looking at like new, like, Oh, like, Oh, this is these some nice, like new houses I haven't seen before. Like I I just, that's just me. Like I always just, especially when me and Jay go on road trips, like when we drive around, we always like driving through like neighborhoods and stuff. Mm. Like I remember we used to do Uber eats and we used to drive through like the rich neighborhoods and just look at the cribs. I always just like doing that stuff. So I wouldn't mind moving down to like South Jersey because of course it's still like not too far, but it's still like it's still far, but it's not. I don't, I don't think you could do no John like like Virginia. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think you do. Which Virginia cheapest out to live in too, but that, is it really? Ain't no fucking ain't no jobs in there. See, it, it's also like right. It's mainly, it's mainly like, like of course, like if it's cheaper and if like. I have, like, if I had, like, a job that's paying me really good, like, I wouldn't mind it. Mm. But I also think of it as, like, the podcast thing. Like, I feel, that's what I think of, I think of that, and I think of, like, my family and stuff. Mm. Because, like, if we leave, if I dip, it's like, dang, how we gonna do, how we gonna do this? We're probably gonna do it, like, how Shannon Sharp and them do it. <laughs> like, oh, dude, I, I ain't gonna lie, Shannon, 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 Shannon and Ocho, they do their thing with, through, through the internet, yeah. through Skype. I yeah. can't lie, but that's, that's their dynamic. Like, yeah, that's their for them. Mm-hmm. So like, I always just thought like, yeah. like if I move, then this this is gonna be done. So that's not necessarily because that does work. Like we we're witnessing it work. Yeah, we're witnessing them use high definition camera, go back and forth. Like it does work. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just you know maybe maybe that's where it comes. Because in, it's like, not I'm, like we're doing something physical. Mm-hmm. Where we're touching each other, now we're just chatting. I'm sitting on this side of the room, you sit on this side of the room. If you were to clip like this and clip like that, nobody would really tell the difference. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. But I just feel like for me, though, it's just like what I want to do, like, I'm not saying like we're moving or nothing like that, but like what I want to do, something like that for the pot. Like, because now that's, you got to think about it. Now we got to, now it's like I have to make sure y'all have good either internet y'all gotta have, make sure y'all have good either internet gotta have good cameras good mm-hmm. audio and it's like before it's like you guys just come to my crib it's all set up it's all ready for you but now i gotta make sure all four or five of y'all is ready mm-hmm. and to make sure it's good maybe one day the internet might crash or uh connection might be weird and it's just gonna i feel like it might cause more problems than it is but that's just the more the things i just be thinking about mm-hmm. Just it might cause more problems. I don't know if it's gonna well, be a problem, more problems but it might create more problems than know. it needs to be. And it's just like, dang! Now I gotta re-edit. I gotta edit a certain way. I gotta figure out some different things. But I don't know. I don't, hey, people! I don't think we. I don't think we moving anytime soon. But if we do, hopefully we make enough bread from this pot and saying. we all move I together. Would, that's what I'm saying. I, if if everyone, I'll be cool if community moving. Like say, niggas come together, be like, yo, let's move to. To fucking Maryland. I'm like, I bet. Because everyone who I would want to see is already there. I don't feel like I have a complete attachment to the area itself. Mm -hmm. It's the people within the area. I get what you mean. It's like you bring the community down with you. Yeah, then we cool. Then we all now discovering and figuring out life. Together? Together. I get what you mean. That'll be cool. Yeah. But, hey, man. For now, we'll be in Jersey people. We just here, bro. We in Jersey. We Jersey people, bro. You want to do the intro, brother? Man, we done did. Wait, what was that? 13 minutes. That was 13 minutes? Yeah. Pre-pods, pre-pods, no, that pre-pods. That's what we call it, pre-pods. We, you know, when, we, <laughs> when we break it down with ultrasound. Come on, man. That was hot, bro. No. Anyway, oh, <laughs> break it down with ultrasound, bro. You want but ultrasound not a, But not an actual ultrasound with ultrasound. Oh, like ultra, like like up, like up. Come on, bro. It's ultra, hey, man. That means it's big time, bro. Yo. Anyways, um, <laughs> this guy. what's going on, everybody? It's the one and only, the chosen one. The only one, player number one. You know what I'm saying? The chosen one. I'm here on another beautiful, important, special episode of the No Regulars podcast. It's been a little bit, but we back like we never left. You know what I'm saying? But on my left, we have the one and only, Mr. 
Ifa Tunde, the oracle, the one who gets it started, the one who gets it done, the one that's the Uda without the gun. You know what I'm saying? You know what we do. Whatever he got there, you know. We're about to have another blessed and beautiful episode of the No Run. <laughs> yeah, about to have another blessed <laughs> and beautiful episode, man. Welcome back to the No Regulars Podcast, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share mm-hmm. before I bug up. You do not want me to bug up because I really be chilling. I really want to have a good time. I really, really be under be your bed. Come on, son. You don't want this guy under your bed, You bro. don't want me under your bed. Like, you don't <laughs> want me in your closet. You don't want me, like, you know how, like, I know everybody play GTA, that mission when he in the back seat. I'll really be in niggas' back seat. You don't want me in the back seat. <laughs> I'm really them? trying to and have a good time, so. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We blessed. No regular podcast. About to do it, man. I have a question, though. You know what episode this is? This is indeed episode 140. 159. <laughs> don't worry they're gonna get used to it Yo. but like he said shout out to all our sponsors shout out to Seat Geek use code no regulars at checkout to get $20 off any orders over $50 or more if you're new to Seat Geek use code now no regulars and shout out to all our, our other sponsor prize picks use code no regulars if you put $5 in if you're new to prize picks you get $50 back instantly win lose or draw so you're getting your money back 10 times regardless people and you get the bet you get to put more picks in and make more money. You know what I'm saying? I could have won some bread because I called the Celtics winning. I actually called every single championship for the last two, three years. I'm saying if you just do that, like, wait, what do you think this year? So, let's see. I got to see when it starts. I got to see. Oh, the like the season starts? Yeah. Yeah. But I do believe that the Celtics could back to back. Okay. I, I ain't going to lie. They probably have the best chance out of everybody. Back to back, yeah. So, and every, every um, most teams were scrambling, getting new players. Shit like that. The Celtics mm-hmm. stayed the same. Mm-hmm. If there's no injuries or nothing like that, it should be yeah, sure. No injuries, we're back to back. Yeah, but hey. there's no no team in it. We're definitely going to the Eastern Conference Finals, so I would bet that mm-hmm. Paul George is good, but he's not good enough to bring Philly over the hump. Bro, I don't think so, they're gonna really do much. I feel like Paul George gonna play like max sixty some games, sixty two, mm. and then he'd be be there. Like he's not, he's gonna miss like the, towards the end of the season too, and he's gonna come into the playoffs, average like eighteen, and then they're gonna get bounced in the second round. I'm calling that right now, bro. Bro, let's bet it, bro. No regulars. Uh, oh, prize picks. Prize picks. Put in bro. no let's regulars right now, bro. No code, no regulars. N O R G U L A R S. You get five dollars. Put uh Paul George. But I don't even know if they do that it's because because um prize picks is different. Oh. It's not like overs. It's like overs or unders, but it's not like I don't think they do like like long term stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But okay, don't okay. worry though, people, because before the NBA season starts, we're gonna do a sports podcast. That's All what right. I was gonna talk about. We have a meeting later tonight. But one of the things we're gonna talk about today, we got a lot of things to talk about. We got some. We got some current event news, and we got some news that's not on the news that should be. And then we got some hypothetical games. I'm going to test if UJ's really Batman, people. So stay tuned to that. So what niggas got to understand is Batman not just a name. like It's a persona? It's a persona. It's a lifestyle. It's an image. It's a mentality. He is that guy. I'm. T- he's very yeah. weird. You guys didn't hear the conversation we had before this podcast, before we turned the cameras off? This guy is... <laughs> Yo, he's, I'm a detailed person, bro. So nothing... Not too much can go over my head and me not notice. So that means if it went over my head, I allowed it to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. I'm saying. So we're going we gonna to test that, though. We're going to test that. But before we're going to start, we're going to start with... I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because when I seen it, it was getting me mad because I felt like they were being canceled for no reason. Uh, So... There was a whole thing going around. I know, I, we were talking about before. Oh. There was a whole thing going around with these two guys from the UK, these two uh, black podcasters, and they came to America, and they did a segment with uh, Andrew Schultz, the dude, the comedian, do whatever, oh. and they were talking about the black girl effect on how black girls, when black girls date white guys, they get low cuts, and they get beers, like they look like Travis Kelsey, whatever, and they oh. call that the black girl effect. And then Andrew Schultz made a joke saying like, nah, they get, they get a low cut and a beer because the girls be stressing them out, hitting them. Uh-huh. And then the and then the guys just started laughing about it, and he didn't say nothing about it. And then the girls, when the black women seen it on TikTok, they started f- roasting them, calling them this, that, and third, canceling, stop watching their podcast. And I just want to know, because you know about the situation, do you think that was called for? I don't think a cancellation is called for, but I think accountability is called for. You think so? Yeah. In a way of, but at the same time, like I also, so I'm kind of both. I do feel like you are in a position where you could have been like, whoa. But at the same time, with comedy, it's like in, any, in our world today, anything, it's such a it's so weird 
where it's like you can't really be as edgy. Mm-hmm. And even the stuff you laugh at, you laugh at, you can be judged for. Like, yeah, of course. It's not like comedy can't be as dark anymore. Like how it used to be, where it's like you can make crackhead jokes, you can make yeah. black jokes, gay jokes, gay jokes or you yeah, can yeah. make any kind of jokes, and it's looked at as a joke. Now these things are taken a bit more personally because of the internet. We, you think? Not even that. In today's world, we go deep. We we dissect everything. Yeah. So we feel like everything stems from something. But do you think it's just because, in my opinion, right? Mm-hmm. I just I don't even think that it's not like they did a whole segment on it. If they did like a whole segment, like, yeah, this is what we're gonna talk about. Mm-hmm. Black girl, fact, like, then that's kind of crazy. Like I'm like, nah, it's wild. But it's like a drive by joke. Mm-hmm. Like he's a he's literally a comedian. That's it. That's his job. Whatever he sees an opportunity to make a joke, he's gonna do it. He's not gonna hold back. And it's not like I've seen them make jokes about Asian people, white people, black people, whatever. But I don't. It's like, and it's not like I don't feel like it was anything bad. He just said it was aggressive. But it's also the stereotype that black black women are aggressive and mean and something like that. And I've. I feel like a lot of black women looking at it, or that's your time to be like, hey. But like but in no, the moment, would you say hey, or would you just laugh it off? Because it's just a, it's just a joke. So I feel like that's the thing, though. It, it is just that's what I'm saying. It's such a blurred line to me, because I also look at comedy for comedy. Like I love comedy. Like I watch stand ups and I watch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People go live and just tell jokes and just jail because I like quick reaction joking Mm -hmm. and shit like that. That's how I am in real life. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. It's a blurred line, but it is, I don't know. It's so weird because it's this, I also have the perspective of like intention. Mm -hmm. When you making that joke, what were you intending to do? Mm, Like, Like, were you intending to make black people, I mean, white people laugh at black people? Or were you intending to make a just like, a, like a normal joke? A normal joke for everyone to laugh. Mm, I get what you mean. And then I also feel like certain jokes are made to certain people because you know that that certain person would not react to it. Mm. So a person could make like a, a edgy racist joke to someone who they believe ain't pro-black mm-hmm. because they know they won't say too much or they won't take it to heart or they won't, what's the name? Yeah. But then a, uh, yeah, but then yeah, you know I, I get what you mean. Like that. Cause it's like you know, and then I was I'll, I'll be watching a lot of the videos of like the women that be talking about it, and I look at like some of the guys, and the guys are saying like, "Yo, I don't know why they cancel these people because if, if somebody says something about the black man, they will never say nothing about it." Oh. And they, it's because you know I forgot what the, I forgot what the guy was saying. I don't know if it was saying about how they were because. What were they talking about? Was they talking about black men, like how black men be going out with like white women or something like that? I don't know if that's what he was talking about specifically, but he was saying something how like when people be black, bashing black men or whatever, they never dare to like you know support. But if they say something about black women, they always there. Which it's always a t- it's a touchy subject. I understand, but it's but it's also like a lot of black women feel like black men don't defend them, so they feel the need to defend themselves in the situation. And women being women, they always go. Out Times to it. Yeah, I get what you so, mean. I just don't think that that I I think I just don't think that specific joke needed that much. I think if 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 y'all if people would have crashed out at something, I don't know if that's the something. That's the something. I feel like there's other jokes that mm-hmm. were probably worse. Mm-hmm. And like, like I said, it's other jokes with I feel like like I said if if I didn't I'm not gonna find I know the issue but I didn't watch the clip. Yeah. So. I didn't get a gauge of the nigga energy behind the joke. Mm, I know what you mean. All I did was see the the awkward laugh of not the awkward laugh, but the laugh of the light skinning and the dark skinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I saw. You know what? And it, then somebody go into talking, oh, talk, like okay, a, like a duet. Oh, I know what you mean. I know yeah. what you mean. So you know, it, this is what it kind of gave off, right? You know, it's like okay, it was kind of like you know, say like me and you go to a store. And, like, an old white guy comes up and, like, tells us, like, a random joke that he thinks that we would laugh at. Mm-hmm. And, like, we would just, we just laugh to make him feel better. But I don't think, like, but it wasn't, like, not funny. Like, it was mm-hmm. still funny, but it was, like, that type of joke. I know what you mean, but that don't make it okay. I know. It doesn't make it okay. But I still think it's, like, 
I don't think it's still cancel worthy because I feel like I don't, I don't even believe in cancel culture. I don't think so either. I, I feel like that, that people, most of the women that were complaining in the comment section don't even watch them, so it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. So what what the what I feel it is is cancel culture is not really real. If you fuck with somebody, you fuck with somebody. If mm-hmm. you don't like what they say, just stop watching. If you don't care, then keep doing you. Amen, bro. So, hey, if we ever I get canceled. We not. I'll probably, I'll probably get canceled before anything because no. I really don't give a fuck. Hey, bro, we not gonna apologize for it because if you apologize for it, then that's when you make I it feel worse. Like good, bad, or indifferent. I don't feel like you gotta apologize for what you believe or how you feel. That's what I'm saying. Like, and they were talking because they were. What I they, don't think people should apologize for their opinion, even if, even if somebody look at me and be like, "I hate you as a black man." I don't think they gotta apologize to me. That's that's your opinion. That's what I'm saying. That's we not, don't have to communicate. That, that's true. Exactly. We don't have but to have you, continuously you, watch them. No, but if you disrespect me as a person, that's okay. Different. That's different. Yeah. That's but if you just give your opinion on how how you feel about me, that's calm. Yeah. But you don't have to disrespect me while doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's but, real stuff. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. That's true. But it's and it's also I was watching when they apologized to because I I seen them apologize to at first I was like what the heck they apologizing for. And they was like, what they were saying was they were uncomfortable in the situation and they said their fight or flight mode kicked in and that's why they started laughing. I feel like that was a terrible, like, apology because Ooh. now they look at you like you're soft. Yeah, but I already be looking at them like they're soft. <laughs> yeah, but then at the same time, like, you don't got to be tough. You don't got to be tough, bro. You don't got to be an internet tough. That's what I'm saying. Like, what would you say in that situation? You'd be like, nah, like, you just, like, dead like, nah, like, chill, don't say that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I'm a person that I do like edgy jokes. Yeah, I like... like I will throw them right back. I'm saying. Like, <laughs> where it's like... But also, you got to understand the time that we're in. Yeah, it's not as how it's it used like to be. You can't... A joke like that may fly if it was 2007. Yeah. People may laugh, and you know what I'm saying? Or like... I remember like... Because our school real diverse. Like, mm-hmm. black kids making uh, big dick jokes to black people. Yeah. Like, you're black. Oh, my God, you're black. I just know you're going to be repeat. This is so... Like, that was, like, a thing that yeah, yeah. the little white niggas used to do. Mm-hmm. And we genuinely saw it as, like, a joke. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember... I ain't going to say his name, but, like, in eighth grade, there was, like, this kid that would just... He looked at me. He was like, bro, you're tall. You're big. I just, like... Like, that was his way. Like, that's, like, white people kind of comedy. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, I am uncomfortable right now. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm dead <laughs> uncomfortable. But, like... I I guess I like, guess what you mean you know what I'm saying so I do know what they mean because I used to do that shit like yeah. I used to just uh, 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 <laughs> chill but it's like to avoid conflict or the, you know what I'm saying keep it pushing like mm-hmm. but that's when I was younger yeah as a grown man it's a little different like as a grown man you could if you saying I'm uncomfortable you can't speak yeah you up. can speak up yeah that's so true. that fight or flight shit map. I ain't gonna say <laughs> I ain't gonna do that, but like, I'm not gonna do that. But like, as a grown man, it's crazy. It is crazy. I You're gonna you have mean. to. If they, you, I'm just saying. They, really, I feel like they just said that because to say that right. Say there was a black woman in front of you, and they got offended. Is your fight or flight activate? Like what's activating right? Yeah, there? I know what you mean. Like, I feel uh-huh, like uh-huh. y'all both, y'all sitting there laughing at her, y'all see her uncomfortable, or do you speak up? Mm. So you, you got to be aware of your company. Hey, man. Just, that's what I'm saying. Just don't be around or don't watch people who don't who don't align with your morals. Exactly. That's it. It's that simple. Yeah. You don't got to go and cancel everybody. I Let know, these be, niggas do what they want to do. They be ready. I'm like, dang. Bro, if... I don't know how to explain it, bro. If this is what these niggas want to do, let them go do that over there. You don't have to You don't got to watch it. They, yeah. Like, they make it so worse. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they do that, but it's like, you know, like you said, it's just how the culture is now, and I feel like they, I don't know, maybe it's just the feeling of, I don't even know what it is, maybe power or something, but they just, people that can't. Yeah. It's, it's power in community. Yeah. So if we all right now say, let's make the word, uh, Savage mean blessed, beautiful, and godly. Now, if a, a <laughs> whole community say let's let's make that word savage, mm-hmm. blessed, beautiful, and godly, they can do it. That's true. That's In today's true. world, you can dead ass do it. That is true. And just say, I ain't gonna tweak out, but you can literally, <laughs> <laughs> you can literally do what like belief and passion is enough. Yeah. 
That is true. If you get enough people around you. If you get enough people and they're all passionate. About the same thing. You can convince more people. That's a freaking cult, bro. That's what that sounds like. That's all you need to do. <laughs> I'm, hey. I'm not knocking it because it's working for them. It is. It's if with within your community, you're getting what you want. Mm-hmm. I can't be mad at it. That's true. I, you're doing your method. Wait, wait. But what community I, are you talking about? You're talking about... I'm talking about any community. Oh, oh I thought you meant like cults. I thought that's what I'm talking about. I'm cult community, same job, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get what you mean. But I mean like whether your, your community is black, your community is white, your community is straight, gay, it don't matter. Mm-hmm. Whatever y'all doing to make your community move forward and to get what you want, keep doing it. It's working. Yeah, that's true, bro. Can't knock it. Hey, man. So, honestly, I feel like canceling is still kind of good in, the, in a sense. I feel like if you get canceled, it's more like, you get, that's like, it's still publicity. Depending so, on what the canceling is, so though. I actually, I actually talked to uh, Ruvens today. Ruvens and uh, Fritz, we went out to get some eats because Ruvens just came home Oh, really? Quick. I didn't even know he was back. Yeah, he came home real quick. Well, we out to eat. And we we had, of course, the discussion on P. Diddy is always going to come up, like, yeah, in, in recent today's world. Like, so now we asking, like, damn, do we, are we canceling Diddy? Like, are we canceling every aspect of P. Diddy? Meaning songs he's pro- he's produced, songs he's featured oh. in, songs he's helped write, or he's featured, like, in any aspect, like, is he all done? Okay. Oh, is that what you was asking about the Biggie thing? Yeah. Oh, on the game because yeah. he was like, "Oh, we listen to Big Dog." <laughs> Honestly, I don't. I wouldn't cancel him. I really don't care. I mean, I okay. That Joe, was crazy. That was wild. That's not what I meant. I do care. He should go. He's going to prison forever. Yeah. He should go to prison. But at the same time, I like the music when I didn't know what was going on. Mm. But now that I know what's going on, it's not like I'm not going to like the music. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, some some people like that now, but I don't know. You think you're not? Some people, it's also like it's harder to, for me personally, it's hard for me to gauge something when I'm not personally affected. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It's hard for me to gauge something when I I, I don't like. Maybe it's like a a, a skill gap, bro. But it's like <laughs> it, it's hard for me to like gauge how bad something is when I don't feel the emotion. That's what personally yeah. it's hard. It, it might be. Maybe that's a little bit like. No, like, I feel the I same way with a lot of things because it's like I feel like like this. Well, certain thing, not everything, though. No. Because like, but it's like if I if st- if it didn't happen to me, then I really like if it happened or somebody that I'm close to, close which is, to which which I don't even believe is is a good thing in every every scenario. scenario. Yeah, but I feel like, but I feel like it, it like you can you can judge or base something because off of your judgment, or whatever, because it's yeah. your opinion. With everything. So yeah. it's like, you can, no matter what he did, you can still like P. Diddy, whatever, or you can still like what he produced or whatever, because that's you and that's your opinion. But somebody, that doesn't mean you have to go with the consensus around it's consensus it. opinion. You know, yeah. right? And Just I don't, because. And I don't think it's weird if someone is to be like, I like the music, so I'm going to bump the music. That's, I don't like him, and that's that's just it. That's what people say with R. Kelly. Yeah. I ain't even gonna get into that. <laughs> like, yeah, but like that's what I'm saying. I'm not really? gonna. I'm not gonna say that because down the line, somebody might be weird and look back at what we said. I've said a bunch of times though, so they might cook me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, but I, I wouldn't. Nah, even even so, where it's like, I feel like these are two people who've had their hand in so much. So to go completely cold turkey and anything that they touch would be completely difficult. Yeah, that's all. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. would you would literally have to cancel so many artists that he's written with featured with yeah. like it's just too it's much work too much too much work and hey man. it's not my problem That's which, which I, it sounds cold hearted and it sounds crazy but it's too much work to do mm-hmm. to feel like oh yeah I'm not listening to, to Usher no no more he listen he made same girl and he made I need a girl with Diddy yeah and he made this and that like where it's like that's too much work, and you. It's like he didn't affect your life. Yeah, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm, of course, like it he is, affected like said, a lot of a, people. It lives. is a little. It's a, it is a little selfish way to think about things, but you gotta um, realize you go in this world alone, you leave alone. So you gotta be a little selfish with certain things. You know what I'm saying? It's even though, like, like it also is like a a sensitive subject, but because say someone has experienced something similar, similar yeah, then they look they at you touch crazy. Them, they they can look at you crazy because yeah, yeah. like. How could you not feel what I'm feeling? What I'm feeling, but it's like we ain't been through what you've been exactly. through. Exactly, so you, you gotta. That's through. why I feel like some people you gotta understand. Like, 
I didn't experience. I never experienced what you experienced. You yeah. never experienced what I experienced. So we look at everything differently. Or like you'll have like like I've had like women have a conversation with me and be like, "How could you do da da? Because da, 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 you don't like women and but it's like it's harder mm -hmm. when you're not a woman to get the perspective of, of a woman. woman. Yeah, that is know? true. Hey, that's some real uh, stuff. That's what y'all was talking about the eats, bro. Yeah. So are you? We gonna were trying to we were trying to break down what it meant to not support this person or these people anymore. So are you, would you, I mean, you, will you still listen to the music? I. Is there really that many songs? That's a lot of songs. PD has his hand in a lot. Dang. That's what I'm Where, saying. That's when you look at artists like 112, like Mace, like, like Harlem World is, I was, it was, it was dropped before I was born, but uh -huh. coming up was an album that I went back to and listened to. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you liked it? I loved it. Like his hand is all over Pose. His hand is all over Mace's work. Mm. Pose. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Though. I gotta say Pose because that's Mason shit. But like, he got a, he got a hand on a lot of like of the things that the the nigga did. Mm -hmm. So it's like, damn, do I say now nah, I'm not gonna listen to Harlem World or I'm not gonna listen to another Biggie's work mm -hmm. because he got something to do with it or she like because the nigga didn't really make no music like that. He was just for us to helping. be like, oh. I'm not listening to no more P. Diddy's songs. He ain't really make music like that. That's what his I'm saying. His hand was in so much of the artists that we love uh -huh. music. That's what I'm saying, though. That's why it's good. I feel like that's different than R. Kelly. Like, you can stop yeah. listening to R. Kelly. You can, you can stop fucking with R. Kelly, but P. Diddy's P. Really Diddy got so much, like, collateral damage. Like, if, if people are to, to cancel, Cold Turkey cancel P. Diddy, it's so much collateral damage. There's so much people that have nothing to do with what Diddy got going on. But he was there. That are going to fall under that yeah that is true i'd be forgetting how much stuff he did for real mm -hmm. dang bro i heard he was i heard he was bringing some people down with him bro yeah come on now nobody 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 taking a fall like that bro. what do you he, think going i think jay-z next bro they're gonna get him out of here bro somebody somebody i don't know and i also believe that niggas been knew that this nigga was a weird ass freaky ass bro 50 cent been saying this yeah free, been saying it not giving a fuck but because it's 50, niggas like, all right, whatever. He'd just be saying, like, he says everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so like, that's like what... taking serious, but not taking serious. Mm -hmm. But I feel like everybody been knew his behavior. Everybody been knew he was weird. Uh -huh. 50 talking about, think about take me shopping. Yeah. Like, <laughs> for me, like, like she mean you want to take me shopping. Like, mm -hmm. shit like that, where it's like, I feel like PD also has, like, a dominance issue. What do you mean? Like, he likes being dominant? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Meaning, like, in every aspect, he yeah. wants to dominate a person. Oh yeah, do and you I see? feel like it turns like from real like it's all sexual too. Even if it has nothing to do with somebody being naked. But anyways, I feel like this nigga P Diddy got someone angry because mm -hmm. there's no way niggas been knowing about this shit since the '90s. They saying all yeah. this shit from the '90s, and they're just now getting to you now. At your you fifty some or you late forties or whatever. That's how it always is, though. No, nah, you got somebody mad. That's how that, literally. That's how it always is. Like they always either because you let the nigga what live out his fantasy and hurt everybody, and nah, he he now decided like yeah, he yeah. was like you know now this is the time. It's, but like weren't cases been coming up, but he was just paying everything off. Paying everything off, yeah, it was low stuff. So, but it's like now I feel like I don't know when did it, I feel like it started to get it because I know there was. They was talking about something with J Lo. I don't know what was going on with that whole thing, but I think it was something like, I think P Diddy shot somebody in the yeah, face. Yeah, but that was that was I've been everybody know about that though. He shot somebody, and then Sean took the fall, or Sean took Sean was a fall man that night and went to jail for mad years and just came home like two years ago, mm -hmm. three years ago, and they're saying that it was Diddy that, that did it all the time. Yeah, that's crazy work, bro. But I feel like I said, if you got money. Power, you can really do or a lot like, of things. Did he might not have did it, or Sean, someone someone did it that night, but did he got off? Jail got off, everybody got off. Mm. And Sean took the fall. That's crazy, but I know this. I really feel like a lot of, I feel like did he kill mad people? I ain't gonna lie, or not killed like personally, but he had a lot of people killed though. Mm. I still think he killed his wife, bro. I was talking about that uh, with uh, Rubens. He was saying he genuinely feel like he killed his way. Bro, he definitely. I don't even like getting too much into that because that shit a little, a little scary. Bro, because the whole thing was like, I feel like because I think his his wife was writing a book, mm -hmm. and then the night she died, 
I forgot how she died. I think she died like she got sick or whatever. Yeah, uh, he's, I think he said pneumonia. I yeah, think. pneumonia. But you can give somebody pneumonia. Mm. Like that's why I feel like people think that that's how they got Bernie Mac out of here because he just mm. got pneumonia. But you can give somebody pneumonia, and she got pneumonia. She died, and then once like the police, like her laptops where she was writing her book in, they were all gone. They don't know where them laptops went, and the only people that know about it was P Diddy. So. People think he got it. They, she was either gonna expose him for all these little Diddy freak off parties, yeah. or just say something about it, and then he got her killed. But I don't know, bro. It's it's just a whole. They need to make a documentary series about this, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna be fire. I heard, I heard, uh, Fifty about to make one. He is. <laughs> like, I just want to know. I I was talking to Fritz about the last episode, bro. He was saying he want to know what what uh, Usher's point of view, bro. Because they said Usher, Usher was, bro. Usher just deleted seven thousand tweets. Really. Yeah, seven thousand tweets or seven thousand posts, something like that. Mm. So, hey man, all these niggas got a little hand in it. So it's like, what are we about to do now? Are we about to not listen to Usher? Exactly. But it's like, they said knows? he had cuz at fourteen, bro. What was mm. the thing he was at? The, I forgot what the camps was called. He called it like sugar something camps. Things like sugar baby camps. I don't know what they call. It. It's not that though. But I do know what you're talking about. That's weird, bro. He had he had Usher. He had Justin Bieber. I forgot who else was around with them. I remember he tried. I remember there was an interview with uh, uh, Mike Tyson and P Diddy, and P Diddy was putting his hand yeah. like by Mike Tyson's leg. Yeah. He pulled his hand up and put it. I like nah, bro. Diddy be wilding, bro. I don't know, bro. But they they lock Cuz up, and he going If he gets all, there's no way he's going. He's getting getting away with this, bro. Mm. But at the same time, if I'm if I'm as rich as P Diddy, they would never find me. I we was talking about in the chat where it's like they. You know what I mean? It's like he want to be found. That's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. That's bro, weird. You'd rather bring him to Diddy Galore. You go to jail, bro. You better have a good time, bro. Nah. <laughs> no, he's not, bro. He don't got the oil with him, bro. <laughs> he don't got the baby oil. But nah, uh, it's just you know the world's been going been a lot weirder lately, bro. And I I've been looking up a lot of I actually seen a lot of things that I haven't that's not really circulating as much, but. It was kind of, I ain't gonna lie, because you know me, I'd be looking at a lot of crazy, I'd be looking at like uh, some things like, you know, the little aliens or whatever, mm -hmm. but I seen something about like an asteroid, right? So there was a, there's a asteroid that's been circling around the earth for the last like, I don't know how many years, and they said it could hit earth in like 2029, bro. Damn, that's too close. That's what I'm saying. But this is what they're saying, right? So the asteroid is the size of like a cruise ship. So it's not big enough. To destroy the planet, but it's big enough to like cause like dis like damage. Like they said, it can hit. It's probably gonna hit. So they said in 2029, like April 13th or whatever, it's gonna get like 20,000 miles close to the Earth. And like to put that in perspective, the Moon is 200,000 miles away. Ooh. So imagine 20,000 miles that jungle right there above our heads. And they said the only way it'll hit the Earth if something knocks it into the Earth, like something like a rock or something. Ooh. And they said if it hits the Earth. There's going to be, like, tsunamis coming to, like, California, Hawaii, all them. And then it's going to bring everything back into the ocean. Because, you know, when something splashes, it's going to come back in, like, the little riptides. Mm. And then all the ashes is going to fill the air. It's going to be freaking um cloudy for a while. And we're not going to see sunlight for maybe a couple months. So they said maybe, like, a couple million people. But they said we might be able to survive it. But that, like, I was just thinking, like, imagine. I feel like every lifetime, right? Like, say if somebody was born in 1920, they always go. They've been, they went through a lot. Like, somebody was born in 1920, they went through World War One, Two, Vietnam War, uh, Korean War. Mm -hmm. And with us, we was born in, you know, 19, early, uh, late 90s. We've gone through COVID, 9-11, well, we really never experienced 9-11. And uh, New Age of Technology. Iraq. Oh, yeah, Iraq. I forgot about that one, too. And it's like, what else could happen in our life that's going to be freaking crazy? So, imagine a whole asteroid comes down. Mm -hmm. That would be OD, bro. And I feel like... It's either I feel like I feel of course I don't think we're gonna die from that because they said we're not gonna die. But if if that junk comes by, bro, just seeing that, experiencing that, and then just living through that, and see how the world is gonna be. That's really gonna change the world forever. I mean, bro. we did experience and live through the orange, uh, the orange world, and oh I yeah, felt like and I was having this conversation with a girl the other day where it's like our people, like not our people, just people in general, unserious, serious mm -hmm. ass shit. Yeah, where it's like, gonna, I don't, I don't think I'm a fan of it because it doesn't let people know. I guess maybe for some people, comedic relief mm -hmm. is how they feel better about a situation. Yeah, 
but it's like you're publicly making it the comedic relief for now more people are so easily influenced yeah now more people thinking this shit a joke mm-hmm. now they really coming through killing people yeah you know what that's a good point I go like I'm one of those people like I mm-hmm. feel like if with bad situations like I, I laugh mm-hmm. like like say like say something's happening like we're being chased by somebody like I might like joke about it or whatever but that's just me I wouldn't want other people like in the yeah. world like the higher ups yeah. doing that yeah, joking. like I want you like that's just like how the I people am. to say the president coming to, coming through and they making uh what was the last joke that people was making with the they eating the dogs and the cats yeah nah nah not at that um it was something really heavy going on it was about war it was about war like they they was like talking about another war starting oh like and like. Twitter, Twitter, like erupted with hella memes and shit. Oh, I get what you mean. So, so now, it's like, th- say the leaders of the world were dropping memes mm-hmm. during this time that's serious. Mm-hmm. You would think that this time isn't serious because the leaders of the world are dropping the memes. Yeah, but I feel like they do that on purpose now because think about it. You see, like, I don't, like, I'm not. We're not getting no politics, people. I don't want to talk about politics, but we oh, like, we like, say, talk about politics. Talk about like the 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 presidential race. They're going on people's live streams. Yeah. Like they try, like Camilla Harris yeah. is trying to go on Kai yeah, live stream. Like what? They, like what are y'all they, doing? They 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 try to deny it, but I I think they did. Like what y'all? Like what are they doing for real? Like that's mm-hmm. that's that's what I'm. That's I, I get what you mean now. Trump was trying to go on, on Aiden stream or something like that. Yeah, well know. he he was on Aiden stream talking yeah. about like the the presidential thing. But I'm like that's crazy. Like you shouldn't like as the the leaders you can't be acting like us. You yeah. know what I mean? You guys are. Supposed, but sp- that's streaming is one of the biggest things in the world right now so i know it's but not, it's that's like, not that's not crazy for for them to try to stream but i feel like they try to it just looks as like a joking thing you know what i mean like i feel no. like it, i feel like as a president you, got, I, you could make it a little more serious you have, you have to like separate yourself from certain things mm. of course I, I guess they they try to think I, they probably look at it as like a different like marketing campaign yeah, which it is i believe it is it is i, I really be, do think i believe it is. that actually i believe it's a smart one you think so if you know that kai has had like five hundred thousand people watching that once mm-hmm. or, you know what i'm saying that's not OD to have 500,000 people watching you at once. Yeah, but like, like I feel like I feel like right. for certain things it shouldn't be like for a presidential race like everybody's going to watch you regardless. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like nobody's not going to see like Camilla but now, Harris if you are looking for a specific demographic, it works. So they tr- uh, like with the younger people if you're stuff? looking for an 18 to 25, why would you not try to go on Kai's stream? Mm, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. But you know do you think that's like like is it with the thing you're talking about like them not being serious or you think that is more serious I think that is more serious like okay. I think that's directly targeting oh directly targeting yeah, like the like, people they want it do people actually do vote for people mm-hmm. because a famous person said vote for them like there's actually oh, yeah, yeah. that really do that mm-hmm. I know that like I'm definitely about to vote for this person uh, they were endorsed by Chef G I'm gonna vote for this person they were endorsed mm-hmm. by 50 Sam I was like yeah that's 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 interesting. Like I get people what you don't mean. have a mind for their own. They got to follow behind who they think is proper to follow behind. I get what you mean, but uh, oh, just to piggyback what else you're saying with the the how they joke about. It. I feel like people joke about it to us, so like they don't cause like mass like mass like hysteria or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I feel like like when they like with the war or whatever that you was talking about and they dropping memes, they're just trying to like de escalate stuff. So even though it's mean, terrible, it, like it's it's good. And, I don't know. It's good. And, I I do get what you mean. Like because it's good and bad. Yeah. Because the last time when niggas was tweaking, they started stealing. Uh, they started stealing, started buying mad toilet paper. Yeah. When we had what's the name? What was that? What the the vid? I think COVID. Yeah, COVID and. Niggas ain't know what was going on. Mm-hmm. There was no jokes about COVID. Oh, yeah, no. They, they seen people niggas dying. Was dead ass about COVID because niggas started dying. In the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was jokes. Like, oh, it can't get me. And what then once it? it starts coming to America and then people start shutting down, they're like, oh, nah, it's over. It's over. Yeah, niggas yeah, yeah. stop joking. Niggas start panicking. Yeah, yeah. You start panicking because you didn't take it serious initially. Mm, I get what Do you Do your homework on Niggas not serious. <laughs> That's so weird. now, oh, I don't know what to do. Let me buy toilet paper. <laughs> now I can't wipe my ass probably because y'all niggas want to buy all the toilet paper. Hey, ain't that a lie, bro. That was crazy times, but yeah. Like, even my dad was one of them niggas, like, buying the big old shit of toilet paper. Like, <laughs> how much shit y'all think we're going to take because it's COVID? It was what just toilet paper, too. Like, it wasn't no food, no water. It was just toilet, toilet paper. paper like, dang, like, what? Like, like and that niggas was... really in the crib shitting, huh? <laughs> niggas out of fear, niggas just shitting. <laughs> That's funny, bro. That was a crazy time, bro. But yeah, with the the whole asteroid thing, 
they said this is possible that we can survive it. So hopefully everything go good. But hey, man, I never know. Just see, imagine seeing that, bro. Seeing that whole asteroid come down, that junk probably look crazy as crazy as hell, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least we get. And they said they, I seen something else. They said we're gonna have like two moons for for a little bit. I would love to have two moons. Like they said for because I think there's like a like a space rock that's gonna be by the moon, and it's like I don't know if it's like huge enough, but like you can it's visible to see it. And like for the next couple months, it's just gonna be like in our rotation until like like leaves or something like that. Oh. Which hey man, it's always good to see two moons. But um, what other things I got to talk about? Oh, let's let's go test if you're really Batman, sir. Are you ready? Or it, yeah, bro. Batman persona. I got some on, questions or riddles actually. To see how smart UJ really is. Let's see. let's test it. I am the Riddler today, bro. So I got some dark riddles. You know Batman from Jersey, right? You know I know Gotham. Gotham is Newark, basically. You no, know, Goth nah, Gotham is, is next to Newark. Oh, that's what they... Irvington. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised, bro. Really I think I've seen Killer Croc and Irvington a couple <laughs> times. But, all right, bro. I have a riddle for you. What falls down but never breaks? What falls down but never breaks. Um, what the fuck? What falls down but never breaks? But never breaks. I give you a hint. It's not an object. I thought you were trying to read my mind. What falls down but never breaks? Yep. Like falls down. But never breaks. What falls down but never breaks? Let's see. Um, autumn. You're actually not that far off. That was pretty good. That's not the answer, but you're you're in the right direction. You're in the right direction. So it's not fall? It's not fall. What falls down but never breaks? Think of like a day, like in a day. Oh. Falls down. The, the, the sun? Sunrise or the, the moon? What would that be called? Sunset? That's that's a that's a that's a term. But there's another term for that. Like they say sunrise, and then what they say in, in the nighttime? Sundown. No, nope. uh, another another word for it. What the fuck is another word for it? It's it has the word night in it. Nighttime. No, nope. another word for it. What the fuck? <laughs> what is it bro it's nightfall nightfall that's shit ass <laughs> alright I got another riddle I, oh I had a I had a list I said riddle <laughs> alright so I can fly but I have no wings mm -hmm. I can cry but I have no eyes wherever I go darkness follows me what am I I can fly but I have no, no wings. wings I can cry but I have no eyes wherever I go darkness follows me what am I that sounds really depressing. <laughs> uh, I can fly, but have no wings. I can cry, but I have no eyes. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. So what has, what can fly, but has no wings and it can cry with no eyes. Uh, What's your what's your thought process? What what I did? So right now I'm thinking like planes and shit. Like I got plane in my in my mind first. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, nah, planes have wings. Yeah. So that can't work. So now I'm like, uh, a fly itself that doesn't make sense. But flies don't cry. Um. Think about like you know. I was about to say something, but I was gonna give it away. Think about like. Science. There you go. Think about science. Having to deal with science and like what can fly but has no wings. Yeah, it's it's a, it's like something with science, like something deals with Is that science. Wind? Huh? Wind. You're getting closer. You said wind. Yeah. It's it's a type of, it is like it deals with the elements. It cries but it has no eyes. Yeah. Uh. I believe in you, bro. It's like cries but has no eyes. It cries but it has no eyes. So what happens when you cry? Like what? Like what happens? You tear. What the fuck? Yeah, you tear. What? What? 
what happens? What what comes Tear, out? Tear fall? What happens when you cry? Like, what comes out your eyes? Water. Okay. Waterfall? No, no, you get you get you go farther away. Water. You said went with wind. Wind, water. So you got elements. Air. Getting closer. It's it. it it's in the air. Wind, water, air. <laughs> what the fuck? You get in there. Say it one more time. I can fly but have no wings. I can cry but I have no eyes. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. So wherever I go, there's always going to be darkness. What? The, the night? No, you're getting closer. Think about it. Wherever it goes, there's always going to be dark. A shadow. No. Wherever Damn. it goes, there's always going to be dark. Jay, do you know? <laughs> wherever it goes, it's going to be dark. The nighttime? Not nighttime. Think about think about something else that makes it dark that's not night. A shadow makes it dark. Nighttime. It makes it dark. Um what type of day? Like think of a think of like a day. Like a, there's a Eve evening. Evening? You you're getting there, bro. You you like this is night, evening, you're like almost up there. The answer's right here. You're like right there. Day, evening, night, no, afternoon. No, 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 no. You're still there. You're still right here. Think of like what think of a, a, a normal day. Like a it's like a like in the springtime. What happens in the spring a lot? Oh, the, the flowers bloom. And how do they how do they bloom? What makes them grow? Nigga, uh, <laughs> nigga, water, nigga. Okay, okay, water. Mm -hmm. Where does the water come from? The air. It comes from precipitation, bro. Which comes from what? Um. The clouds. There you go. It's oh, a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly but have no wings. I can cry but have no eyes. Wherever I go, darkness follows. Every time it's cloudy, it's always dark. Oh, That's how I was shit. trying to get you to say. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, bro. Hold on. Damn. I thought he was going to get that one. I thought, <laughs> nah, that one I should have got. I'm I was, you was right there. I was like, yeah. yo, you said dark. You said nighttime. I'm like, no. Nah. Almost. Then you said spring. I was saying spring because it rains a lot in the spring. That's what you get. You got water. I was water. like, and he said uh, precipitation. That's what I meant by science. Oh, shit. I was dancing around it. Yeah, you yeah, was really yeah. right around the answer. That's why I said you was right. You was right here. The answer was like right above you. Mm. All right. I got two more. So the riddle is I'm soft, delicate, and silky. But if you're wrapped, or if you're wrapped in me, you'll scream. If you can, what am I? <laughs> do <dude> hit different. <laughs> the joke is crazy. <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> Yo. You already know. Yo. You say you what and what? You gonna have to say I'm though. soft, delicate, and silky, but if you're wrapped in me, you'll scream if you can. What am I? Nah, this I this is freaky as Yeah, this is wild. Know. This is wild. Soft, delicate, and silky. So think about it like animals. Mm, if you're wrapped in me, you'll scream. <laughs> Think about it. A pig, bro. A pig, pig in a blanket, bro. Nah, nah. Think of it as like uh, it's smaller animals. Smaller animal. If you're wrapped in me, you'll scream. This animal pause gives off this pause. Gives off it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it creates this pause. What I am, pause. It creates this mist. Not a mist. It's it's soft, delicate, and silky. So silky is like sticky. Pause. Bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what are we doing right yeah. now? Yo, it's not. It's not book. Just think about it. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a small animal. A small insect. Is it a spider? Not a spider. What does spiders make? Oh, web. Yeah, cobweb. Cobweb. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said, "What is this?" Yeah. <laughs> hey yo. All right, I got one last more. I got one last one, bro. All right, let me let me see. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right, I'm, let me see if you can get this one without too many hits. So, uh, let's see. Oh, I got it. So, what's the best band to make you feel better? You said the best band? Yeah. So it doesn't have to be a band like rock and roll band, but like anything with 
the word band in it. Rubber band. Ooh, you're close. You're very close. Oh, Band-Aid. There you go. Yeah, yeah I'm tweaking. Oh, I know why. Oh, I right, know why. Right. Oh, shit. You're, you're, you're pretty. You want one more? Yeah, that's that's crazy. I'm mad I, I didn't. Uh, you didn't get that yeah, one off the rip? Yeah, yeah, I'm tweaking. I just, I kind of fake wanted to just say rubber band. Oh, uh, what? Because I kind of, I knew that answer. I'm tweaking. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right. This one's not that bad. What's the one place you can be sure you'll never read your name? So you could read your name everywhere else, like, like if I write a it something. Ooh, I go out here close. Oh. It's like what? It's a a tombstone. There you go. Yeah. Well, oh, you nice. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> stuff. That's oh, yeah. tough. That's tough. What the hell? Yeah. I knew, I thought it was kind of hard. I you don't want, know. You want one more? Because that's actually the only place that you dead can't yeah. see it in. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's what I think. I would think it'd be a coffin because your head dead. I, no, I thought it was a coffin too, but I looked at it. It said gravestone. Mm. So, I, I guess that's the same thing. But, all right. All right, Batman. I think you you a little, little fake decent. So, now, I'm right? Decent, bro. Now, yeah. if you're really Batman, can you name all of Batman's top 10 villains? I might fold, bro. I might fold. I might fold. I might fold. Let's do it though. Go ahead. We got, um, of course, the Joker. We got put. We the, got put. Uh, the J Man. The Joker is number one. Um. Uh, is God in there? Nope. God, God wouldn't be in there. Nah, he's not. Of course, we got Two Face. Two Face is number three. We got um Solomon Grundy. Nope. Solomon Grundy's not in there. Oh shit. Grot. Nope. Uh, the croc, croc liner? Nope, not the croc. Um, is Catwoman in there? Catwoman is number four. Harley in there? Harley is number nine. Um, let's see. Penguin? Penguin is number eight. Ice was Ice Curse. What? Uh, Iceman? Uh, no, 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 no. Mi- uh, Mr. Da- Freeze. Yeah, Mr. Freeze actually 11. Ooh. Mr. Freeze was 11. Uh, who do I got right now? You have the joke. So you have one, the Joker, three. Oh. Uh, fuck it. Uh, what the fuck? I can't think of the nigga name right now. Who? Like, nigga, the Riddler. Uh, oh, Riddler's number seven. Yeah, I'm tweaking. So you have one, three, four, seven, eight, nine. So you just need 10, six, five, and two. Okay. You're missing some. You're missing a big, two big names right now. Uh, the girl Poison Ivy. She was twelve. Poison Ivy's twelve. Mm-hmm. Um, Poison Ivy was twelve. Who's this uh, rivals? He got a new one. The nigga that be whispering, the not not be whispering. The nigga with the face. Like, yeah. No. He on there. Oh What's oh. Kind of hush. Hush. Yeah. No no. He's not on there. Uh, that's a new nigga, bro. I forgot about him. Nah, so, he wasn't on there. You're missing Solomon Grundy's on there. Did I say Solomon? Grundy? Yeah, you said nah. Wait, what's his? That's his name. Name? Yeah. No, no, he's not on there. Um, You're missing a I big said one. Said the penguin. Uh what's that nigga? Like calendar? He do the uh? He know? Who Taskmaster? Ma- T- ta- yeah, Taskmaster. Nah, not Taskmaster. Nope. Oh shit. He was, I think he was like 18. You're missing a big name. He is a big boy. Uh, oh, Bane. Yep, Bane is number five. I'm tweaking. There you go. Uh, you also you're missing. Bane. So you um, got three more left. Rash, Rash al Ghul. Rash al Ghul is number two. Rash. Um, now six and ten are his hard. His daughter on there. Woo! Yeah. Tally is number six. Yeah, Tally, Tally is top. Now I just need ten. It gotta be one of the the gals he was he was. Nah, he was, it wasn't no girl. It's not a gal. No girl. No girl. <laughs> nah, not one of them, bro. <laughs> not one of them, bro. Um, damn, you said I got eleven, right? No, you got ten. No, I'm saying I I, I guessed eleven. What was what was eleven that I guess? Oh, uh, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Not Mr. So Freeze. Who the fuck would be? Is it Boomerang? Nope, not Boomerang. Uh, is it Dead? Uh, what's that? Not Dead Shot. Oh no, death, not Deathstroke. Death, not. I it's surp- not Deathstroke. I was surprised. It was, surprised it wasn't. It's Deathstroke. not Slade. Wilson. Nope, it's not Slade, bro. Do head different. Um, well, I kind of, I kind of see that. I think you're missing a cut. You're missing 
He's is it somebody that was in no, not in the recent ones. I don't, was he in the movie? He might have. I think he's in the next. He's gonna be in the next one. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be in the next one, the next Batman movie. Um, I said the Riddler. You said the Riddler. You said so. You said the Joker, Ra's al Ghul, Two Face, Catwoman, Bane, Talia, the Riddler, the Penguin, and Harley Quinn. Do you want a hint? Wait, who the fuck is missing? You're missing one name. It's like his name has to deal with the animal. And it's not Grog? Nope. Not Croc. I'm not like Gorilla Grog. No, no, no. Oh, oh no, no, not Gorilla Grog. Nope. Of course I was thinking of Croc, but he he fought the Croc a few times. And it's not I'm surprised it's not Grundy. But at the same time, he ain't really fight Grundy too much. He fought Grundy was like a group. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not like none of those people like. So, 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 man, uh, his name is deal is with it, the animal. Is it shark? Nope, not shark. Not king shark. Um, Smaller animal. And this is number nine. This is number ten. This is the number last ten. So that's why this is pretty hard. He's he's more mm. like think of think of something that you see in like uh in Halloween. I said Catwoman already. Not Catwoman. Something something you might see in the fields. Bat. What? It's Batwing. Nope, not Batwing. Almost. You're getting there. Think of like when you go to a cornfield. What do they have to... Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Damn. Scarecrow is number 10, bro. Damn. Scarecrow is number 10, bro. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah. Damn. This is a crazy damn. list. I was When I seen some of the names on here, I was like... Uh, but then I, I kind of yeah, but agree. definitely a hundred thousand percent is Scarecrow. Yeah, that was the one name you forgot, bro. Damn, mm-hmm. that's tough, bro. Damn, when I tell you, I did not think Scarecrow at all, but I would have <laughs> got cooked. <laughs> is it? I think I think he might be in the next Batman movie. The, Scarecrow, damn. Yeah, bro. So I think he might. I think he might be in Batman too. I think that's coming out next year. Oh, it is, and I'm going to go see it. Yeah, I hope it come out on my birthday again. Are we going to go watch it? Of course. Yes, sir. We have front row seats like we did last time. time yeah, niggas bought up the whole joint. Like, you feel that me? was fun. I ain't going to lie. That was fun. Yeah. That was like what? There was like 15 of us? Yeah. That was a good. Like, that was a lot a whole, of yeah, Wasn't Javon one. there? Yeah, everybody was, Everybody came out and saw the movie. That was tough. That's why I like I like that. You feel me? But, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you you a little bit Batman, bro. But I think I, I think I. That was pretty decent. good. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. That was and pretty I, good. I haven't been in tune in a little while, so I think I did be decent. Even though I'm so mad, I forgot Scarecrow. That's why I, I thought you was gonna say him earlier. I thought he was gonna get stuck on Talia. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, Talia, Talia is a bad person. Like, I know I she was a bad yeah. person. She was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. She, she, she did gave him so a nigga dude. a child, bro. I need to tell her. Like, I know. So. Hey man, but it was, that was pretty good though. Yeah. Did I'm, you? What did you? What did you think I was gonna get though? Like, what grade you think I was gonna get? Like uh, give you like a like an A to F. Yeah. I give you like a, I give you like a B plus. Ooh. I give you a B plus in bad school. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Cause you did good. You did good with the last couple of riddles. The the with the good riddles, but like the harder ones was kind of like you know eh. But they were pretty hard though. Yeah, don't you talk shit. Yeah, but the other ones with naming the the villain, you did pretty good though. So that's what boosted your score pretty. Old. Got to the B plus type of shit. I but, really, I really think I'm like A minus, but I let it slide. I really think I'm in the A's because I, I they only forgot one. Yeah. So you got it. But it was it. just the, it was just the riddles. That's it. You missed like we did I five. Did the, the last two riddles I did and I answered in two like two point five. Yeah, bro. that's where I got the B plus at. Well, I think it's here. <laughs> but you got anything you want to talk about, or you want me to go into the other hypothetical questions? Um, uh, I would go into other hypothetical. Okay. Too much. I feel like, uh, um. With the pre pod, bro, they got a little bit of the Patreon. So if y'all really want to get into the real deep conversations, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon because we in there chatting, chatting like a month every month. We didn't we didn't do a Patreon this month because we was busy. You know, we had to get the school schedule down. Yeah, but. bro, niggas, I, I I'm a student, bro. Yeah, so don't worry. I next got my month, backpack on the side. <laughs> so. Next month we are gonna. There's gonna be more Patreon episodes. We also got some. Ex- there's some exclusive. I gave him an exclusive episode though. Ooh. Like I gave him a extra for the haunted video i put some stuff that we had to take out for freaking uh the youtube because it was smoking on the dead people <laughs> it's just tweaking yeah <laughs> so, it's tweaking. so if y'all want to watch that go on our patreon and watch yeah, that bro. that was crazy 
So, yeah. But, okay. So, I got a thing we could do. It's called, Can You Survive These Real Survivor st- Survival Stories? So, you yes. personally. Yeah. All right? I don't, okay, bro. So, it's surviving three days in a sunken ship in pitch black darkness. So, this happened in 2013. There was a Nigerian cook who was on, like, a... I think it was, like, on, like, a either a cruise ship or an actual, like, boat ship. And it got oh, capsized. I, I had this... Oh, no. We're going to get back to it. I had... I, I think I had this idea to do this on, on the Patreon, but I forgot. What was it? Oh, we'll talk, well, we got to talk yeah, about it later. Yeah, so just yeah, remember, sure, sure, remember sure. I'll remind yeah. you later. But so, yeah. So there was a guy, he was a cook, he was a Nigerian cook, and he was on a ship, mm-hmm. and the ship got hit by a big wave, mm-hmm. and it capsized, and it sunk to the bottom. And he was able to survive for three days in the hull of the ship because there was like a little air pocket left. So I'm saying, would you be able to do that? With the air pocket there? There's an air pocket, yeah. Yeah, I'm scared. I'll just sleep. Just, I'll probably end up sleeping all the time. In darkness? Really? Just yeah. sleep? Yeah, I'll probably just sleep it up. You wouldn't be scared, bro? Like, imagine you're in there, but you don't know how long you're yeah, going to get I out. I would be scared, but I'm going to just think I'm going to die and just sleep it out. If I wake up, I'm like, damn, I'm still here. You just going to sleep in the water, bro? He's in water. Like, like he was treading water? No, he's not treading, but like, you know how there's air pockets and stuff? Mm-hmm. So like, he was on the bottom and like, he was, there was still water like up to like, like his waist, but he can like stand up and stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna sleep in that. You're just gonna sleep in that? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's, that's like, what if you didn't know. know how long you're gonna be in there? Mm. I mean, either way, you're gonna die. Like, you would know, you try to either, get out? I would. I would try to get out. I would mm-hmm. try to survive it. But like, I would try to keep myself alive for as long as possible. as long as possible. Okay. Cause I know he he had to lick like to get like water. So you know, like when like condensation rises, like the the water goes on like the things. He was licking the walls for the water. That's how he got his like water and stuff, which is crazy work. I don't yeah, know. Is- I'm crazy. You know, I'm I'm surprised you never seen that. There was a picture of him. Like they they showed a picture when they found him, and he was like 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 in like a room, and there was just water everywhere because he was scared for his mind, bro. Yeah. I think a diver found him when they found the ship at the bottom of the not the bottom. It wasn't like in like deep ocean. It was like you know like off the coast. So they was able to go down there and still get him, but. Three days, I think I'll probably go crazy. But if it was any longer than three days, I could survive three days. But if it was any longer, I'd probably yeah, crash out. I ain't gonna I could, lie. I could, I could do three days. Mm-hmm. After that, I'm gonna start hallucinating. Bro. Yeah, but I don't even, like. I, you, I ain't gonna fight. I would have thought it was over by day two. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, done for me, but oh I would have been able to. Dang, bro. Yeah, I would have been able. I to think they were able that. to find him because the, he was just he would just like continuously like bang on the thing, mm. and everybody would just heard the noise and they just swam over to him. That mm. so. God bless that guy, bro. But oh, the next scenario: it's surviving a plane crash and seventy-two days in the freezing cold and fighting off cannibals to stay alive. So this happened in nineteen seventy-two. Uh, you said fighting off what? Cannibals. So basically, there was oh, a plane yeah. crash in the Andes Mountains, and the people were stuck there for seventy-two days and they were freezing. But then they started resorting to cannibalism to survive. So it was like you have to fight. You have to like fight off against these people trying to like vote you to eat you. So. I could, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I could get right with that. Yeah. The only issue is the cold. Like, yeah, I can't get busy in the cold. Really? Because now when I rock you, this shit really hurts. <laughs> so now, like, imagine you, you got the force, like, I got the force enough to, to put them, put them down, put them yeah. to sleep. But now I might break my hand trying yeah. to knock you out. Like, I just think they're going to vote me to eat me, bro. And they're going to catch me lacking. And, like, I'm going to be sleeping. And they're just going to stab Why me. Why do you feel like they're eating you? Like, what about you special? Like, you feel I like... I have no idea. I feel like they're just going to, like... I don't know. They're just going to look at me as a seafood. Over there. No, like, no, yeah, no, they no, gonna, no, no. They're going to look at me and think I'm tasty. No. You're a fucking freak. No, no. I'm, just, I'm just thinking about that. Because every time I think of that, I think of, like... You ever... I don't know if you remember. You ever remember that... that We read a book. I don't know if you read it. It was in school. I know you didn't read no books. You didn't read no books in school. It was called no, Lord man. of Flies, First bro. Of all, I'm an educated college student, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I'll be you can be educated bro. and not read no books. Hey, he got me. <laughs> Look, I always think about Lord of the Flies, bro. It was a bunch of kids that crash landed on an island and they had to like survive themselves. And that's when they started creating like factions and they were like bro, create the, groups. The 100, bro. I watched yeah, basically. It, bro. Yeah, it's just yeah. like that, bro. So I just pictured that. And they just going to, I feel, you know, why? I feel like because they're going to like try to gang up on me. I don't know why. Bro, who do you think you are? I don't know, you bro. Are, they gang up on the threat. Brother, well, you ain't the threat. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you ain't the threat. You are who they're calling to be like, yo, yo, let's get the threat. You not the threat, so you good, brother. I feel like they're going to backstab like, come we, gullible. 
I'm a threat. Oh, so he gonna get you? Nigga, I'm done up. <laughs> Even when niggas used to talk about, yo, if we would have a Royal Rumble, niggas would always say, we are eliminating UJ first. That is true. I ain't gonna the lie. Threat. We should do that one day. We should try wrestling. Bro, I've been with us. Nigga, I'm gonna literally show out. <laughs> you, put, you put me in the ring, I'm gonna do every flip that I know how to do. Give me a mat. I'm good. Let's see if we can find We can find a ring in Jersey. That's not that hard. Nigga, first of all, there's a show that if it's around my birthday, we are renting out. We, I'm, I'm literally going to buy every seat in the front row. So there's like a, <laughs> um, it's like a, it's like a low, like low key indie place, but they do like extreme wrestling. So is that when they're really bleeding? Nigga, they're really bleeding. They really taking the lights and hitting each other in the head, really slamming each other. I'm trying to get all the bros. <laughs> And go to that shit. <laughs> I'm trying to get all. It's in Williamstown. So How far it's is like that from you? 30 minutes from my crib. Oh, so that's like what, two hours? Yeah, about. Or maybe, mm. maybe a. Yeah. Mm, maybe hour, hour 40, probably. Oh, okay. If you're okay. just going straight down, probably yeah. hour 40. Because, yeah, probably hour 40. So they're really out here, make, like, beating each other up. Nigga. I seen that picture really you said in the chat. Out, that's why I'm like, yo, niggas ignored me. But I'm, when my birthday coming around, it's gonna get. I'm dead ass gonna press it because that shit. If all the bros are there, <laughs> that shit turn it up times ten. Like niggas in there gelling, and then we gonna turn them up in the ring. Then they gonna do some dumb shit to each other. They're gonna kill each other. You got a bunch <laughs> of black niggas sitting there gelling off you like, yeah, hey, get him, get him, get him. They're really gonna do something stupid. So I really want to do that shit. Yo, that just, I, I seen the shit they jumping on the barbed wire. Oh. They, they grabbing the, some chairs, hitting each other in the head, like making each other bleed. It's like they, they jumping on. The, I'm like, yo, I have to go to this. <laughs> like, where'd you they, find this at? This I is just thought about it one day. Like, damn, if all the guys went to this shit. This shit would be busted. No, but where'd you find like the place at? Like, did you see like oh, an ad? I found out, yeah, I've, I've seen the ad. Wow, and I was cr- like, Jersey. That's crazy. Oh, I'm going. So do they have? Do they always have events there? Like that, the matches they have always one are like, like once every few months, and they just had one that was called like something mania, and it was literally busted. Like I watched the, I watched like the highlights of it. Really, every match was them hurting each other. Well, I, this yeah. makes sense if they have it every month because they're really out here like beating each other That's up. What I'm saying. They have it's to not, recover from that. Like it's not like a famous thing. Oh yeah, it's just like a low like, key meaning thing. like everybody know about it. It's a low key thing. But it's like... How much bread are they making from that, bro? There's, can't be that much. There's, there's no way I'm doing that, bro. You got to pay me stupid bread to do that. They probably... I ain't going to front. They probably doing that for five, six bands, bro. <laughs> nah, that's not worth they it, bro. grabbing the little... It's like a little light. The little... Pole. The little... um. The, st- the the lights that... The little long... The yeah. long lights. Nah, bro. Oh, do you click the, you click the link? Yeah, no, I seen the picture. Oh, okay, okay, and I know, yeah. but I know what you're talking about because we used to... Like, when we had Rutgers, we used to change the light bulbs. Yeah. He, he talking about... I don't know what they're called. It's like... It's like when you go to like a gymnasium. It's called a light tube. It might be or called a light tube. Light? Yeah. Tube, tube light, something yeah. like that. It's like a little tube. It's like a stick, and like you, it's literally like a light bulb. Nah, I'm not doing that. I will never do that, bro. Yeah. You crazy, bro? I'll get there. Oh, I'm not doing it, but I want to go see these nigga crash out and do it. Is it a big arena or is it just like a high school? It's a little ass arena <laughs> it's in a cut. Like it's intimate. <laughs> I want to really be right there. I want to see the spark fly. And I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> I really want to see these niggas get beat up. Like, I really want to see it. Like, this guy's sick, bro. Like, I really that want to. That joke going to look like the freaking, um, like, from the apocalypse I feel movie. like it'd be so, because it's not wrestling. It's like, not wrestling. At that point, it's really not. The WWE survival, one. but it's gladiators, bro. We're really watching gladiators. It's really Somebody not, could die that's that That's what I'm saying. Somebody could dead die. It's really not <laughs> WWE. Like, we're not watching niggas do, oh, no, these niggas really taking this shit and hitting each other over the head. <laughs> Let me go see it. Hey, bro. Hey, uh, we can't. Don't even ask for that because we can't even post that. Maybe on Patreon. We might bring camera. Like, we yeah, got bro, camera bring the. I was going to say that too. Bring out the camera. We're going to vlog that day. We're going to look at it. We go. Uh, I hope one of the wrestlers come to us, give us one of this shit, and hit the nigga in the head. <laughs> That'll be mad funny. That'll be the camera. That'll be bad fun, bro. It might be for the Patreon. Subscribe to our Patreon. You know come what I'm saying? Up, we can't put that. We it. can't put some of that on YouTube. Wait, did, where'd you find the highlights on? Was it on YouTube? It on, it's on IG. Damn. I thought it was on YouTube, bro. If it was on YouTube, we'd be green, bro. Yeah. I mean, it might be. You never know. You right. The full match is probably on IG, though. Okay. But in a vlog, I don't think they will let you put it in a vlog. But uh, wrestling is wrestling, though. 
We'll see. You know, just like here and there, like, oh, a little bit of blood and just look at our reaction and stuff. Somebody oh. tweet. Oh, Tyrone gonna be wild now. Tyrone, Tyrone might go on the stage. Tweaking. Like, he gonna be drunk as hell actually, too. You know how he gonna be. You know he gonna bring liquor. You know he gonna drink. You know he's gonna have a great time. Yeah, no, he will have a great time. That's what I'm saying. That'll be good bro. for Tyrone. Like, that's that's something. He'll enjoy it. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Uh I like that. That'll be fun. That'll be fun as shit. I just seen the idea because sometimes I see the idea. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? And then I seen it, and then I, I, I was already too late to react to. It. I'm like, oh, this is what he meant. But I'm, all my ideas are grand. Just know if I thought it, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I got one last uh, survival story. So survive a plane crash into the Amazon and then survive 11 days while being injured. A little girl did that in 1972. Mm. So she trekked through the Amazon injured. What was for the eleven injury? days, you said what? What was the injury? I think like a I think like broken a broken ankle and like a lot of gashes, like cuts and bruises and stuff. Oof. And that's not good so, in the Amazon because you're gonna get an infection. Yeah. And that's when your leg come off. I think I could do it. Nah, I'm not I doing I that. Do I don't think I. It's not something I want to do, but I could get it done. Bro. Like if you can survive, like if you need to survive, if I need to survive. I could do it. Bro. Uh, if I need to survive. I can hunt. If I need to survive, I can find food. What you hunting down? I can hunt any animal you could think of. No, you cannot. Right you, now. No, you're Anything not. you could think of. You're I'm not taking out a jaguar, bro. This I'll no- hunt the fuck out of the jaguar. With what? <laughs> my people is literally, like, my people is literally farmers. My people hunt. Like, it's really in my blood. Like, I'm really bossing. Like, it, it's really me. I'm really Liberian. Like, Yeah, I, I know. But, like, on, I don't think you're you're going to a jaguar and killing it. Like I don't, you know how big a jaguar is? The jaguar you is like the size of you. I I, yeah, the jaguar is as big as you. So if if it's as big as me, why would I be afraid? But with animal instincts, with teeth and claws. Okay, I'm you, smarter than every animal in this world. Okay, but that don't mean you can, he can he can outpower you, bro. But I can outsmart him. So with what? You are smarter? injured. You already got a handicap. What's better, being smart or being strong? But like at the same time, your yeah, smarts. Bro. Your smarts is not like you creating. Are you gonna create a weapon? I could create a weapon. I could create a distraction. I could create a way to get this animal to self sabotage itself. Bro, if that animal comes right here, like he's he just he walked out the tree line and he sees you, you're done. I could domesticate the animal. What you mean domestic? Like you gonna make him your pet? I could do. You gonna tame him? Nah, there's no way. He gonna eat you, bro. He gonna eat you. Like, jaguar been, got muscles, bro. It's been done. That's the pit bull of the what? Not every jaguars. Animal, right? Our, our, every animal, bro. Yeah. Food. <laughs> every single animal. They want to come get you. They want to attack. Food. So just give them food. Just give them food. But what if you don't? You're the food. You don't got food. Like I'm really gonna like I'm about to say something. I'm gonna say it off camera, bro. Because it's too it's too heavy, but it's too genius. <laughs> you don't want it, nobody to steal your idea? Don't want nobody to do it. Hey yo, what the you could save somebody's life right now. No, no, no. No, it's actually not saving somebody's life. It actually can ruin somebody's life. So I'm not gonna give Oh, okay. <laughs> hey yo, Come okay. On, <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I, I like this confidence in you, bro. Because I got one last segment. Or I got one last segment, I got a question. But one last segment before we end the pod. How many ten year olds can take down this specific thing? So I I'm gonna ask you. And then there's a. I'm gonna tell you what the consensus says. Says how many ten year olds can take down a consec? Like take down what? Can how many ten year olds can take down blank? So I'm gonna give you what okay. they get, what it is. So the first one is you, <laughs> a grown man. How many? How many ten year olds can take down, down a, gr- a grown man? I'm punching him up. So I'm gonna say it's gonna take at least. About 12, 10 year olds, 12, 12 to 15, 10 year olds. That could take you down. Okay, that's not, yeah. that's a, that's a good number. Yeah. I feel like, and the, the thing is, they're all like. At, that's, at, at age 10, you still crying. You still, yeah. So if I <laughs> mac them up, <laughs> if I mac them up, bro, they gonna start crying. That is so, true. But like, they're, like, say they're all jumping on you. That's not enough. So you can jump on me is not enough. It's I'm not gonna enough. toss y'all little like, <laughs> Okay. So the so what the consensus was for a grown adult, it would be 20 10 year olds. So you were close. Bro, these niggas are for the cause the average man not even my fucking size. That's what I'm he saying. See, look, look, you thinking, bro. You thinking. Yeah, bro. All right, the next one is a tiger. How many 10 year olds do you think could take down a tiger barehanded? One tiger, it'd need to be Just one realistically. Realistically. 
it would need to be at least 40 10 year olds to take down the tiger. It's actually 490. <laughs> For, because you got to think about it, tigers are huge. That's true. Like them things like 10 feet tall. I and, go for if it was 45 of me as a 10 year old. What that mean? R.I.P. them tigers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, forty. No, nah, you need way more than that, bro. Nah, bro. I don't if think it was me. How, how big were you at ten? At ten, I was five one, five two. And how how big? Like how like how? I was chubby. You was what like a hundred one thirty? The guy was already like. Don't say. I was a big dude. That I was chubby though. Like one forty. I don't know about 140, probably hitting 130, though. Okay, 130. 130, 130. Nah, I still think you need maybe about 100, bro. 100 and 150. 150, you little because UJs, we just, bro. Because we, we also, 10 of, 45 of me also smart. We're going <laughs> to sacrifice a few of me. Yeah. And then we're going to catch a little bro lacking, bro. you going to catch a little, okay. Me? If it was my, me at 10, that was me at 10. That that little dude right yeah, there. Yeah, you cook. I was bigger. <laughs> I was way bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, I think I need. I probably need about five hundred of me because I was. I was. I wasn't. I was chubby, but I wasn't that big. I was probably like four, eight. Chubby. At ten, at ten, eleven years old, I was playing with men, like grown men playing basketball, with grown men. So you, so that's why you think forty five of them could take now. I was like, moving niggas out of the way. My only move was. <clears throat> <laughs> ten years old, bro. <laughs> that was my only move. I'm talking about. Did it work? It um, didn't work. It was pound dribble, hook at ten. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can ten. just picture that, bro. <laughs> old, bro. But the ten year old—that's the only move I got down there. <laughs> yes. You know, I got. You know how niggas you do two hand pound dribble? Yeah. You don't do that no more, bro. I used to do that too. I ain't gonna lie. Come on, that used to be my thing. <laughs> that was my shit because it just. It let me slide it a little bit. Yeah. Put it on the shoulder, two hand. Mm. Okay, okay, all right. Right here every time, bro. So all right, all right. I think I was pretty strong, bro. Okay. The next one is how many 10 year olds could take down a Navy SEAL? A Navy SEAL? So someone would train no weapons but barehanded and he got training on them. Mm. About, about 40. 40? Yeah. It's actually it's 190. Ain't no fucking 190. Bro. Think about it, bro. Them Navy SEALs go through all that. But you gotta think about it. If these kids grab both of y'all grab the nigga uh legs. Grab his legs. But I feel like legs. he got the combat skills to not allow them to do that. We gonna do run? Now, if 40 40 anything jump at, all run at you at one time, nigga, panicking. Like I don't think But 40, like they're they're trained for that. They are trained they're for not trained to fight forty anything. Well, they're trained to be in high stakes situations. If they scenarios. don't have no weapon, straight hands. But still, though. So, man, the Navy SEAL, bro, they swim and they use guns. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, all right. And the last one: How many ten year olds could take down Spider Man? Oh, you're gonna need at least. Think about it. If a tiger is four ninety. Like I ain't gonna for Spider Man you gonna need it's like like six hundred thousand. It's actually two hundred and seventy thousand. Oh, okay. That's a lot. Just imagine just for Spider Man, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You actually nah, I ain't gonna lie, he is throwing them kids, bro. He can Spider Man throw no no no. Actually they actually can't defeat him. I'm not gonna lie. No, nah, they're not gonna be able to. I don't think like, so. Not even like not even he gotta get tired. He gotta be like, you know what, I'm done. And then he give up. Because he, he could web up a good hundred already uh -huh. by himself. And then he could beat up on the rest. No, no, no uh sweat needed, bro. But I don't know where they got the 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 facts from this, but I seen it on YouTube. There'd be them channels on YouTube that'd be like uh it'd be like probabilities and stuff. Uh -huh. I that's where began most of those things from. But you got anything else to say before we end the podcast? Um, nah, we uh we great. I think we had a very good pod. Mm -hmm. I think we had a you know good vibes today. We got a lot of good, good things. vibes every day. We got we did what we were supposed to do. You know yes, what sir. Saying? We will be back. We will be doing more. We will be showing more. We here, man. You know, no regulars podcast. You know, um, shout out to the people supporting, man. Shout out to people still here. Shout out to people that was there. Um, They're not here no more. You know what I'm saying? And it's all good though. You know what I'm saying? Even the people that ain't even here no more, but you will be back, you know, because we will do everything bigger. We will get better. We will get stronger, you know what I'm saying? Amen, bro. But we need the support of everybody, you know what I'm saying, to keep us going, keep us motivated. We need the love, man. 
Send a message, man. Keep support going so we know that what we doing is not in vain. You know what I'm saying? So of course, of course. Niggas looking after us. Niggas fucking with us. We like, I right, bet. We gonna keep this shit pushing. We got people that love us. We got people that support us. So we know what we doing is for us. So. Shout out to y'all, people. Shout out to y'all. Shout but, out to everybody on the Patreon, bro. I'm really, I'm really monologuing right now. Shout out to everybody on the Patreon. I was gonna man. give you, you the list. Y'all. You oh, wanna yeah, read the names off, bro? Go ahead, man. You do your thing, bro. Uh, you do you, boo. That's good. I like, I like you know when I'm, when I'm, when I'm actually yapping because I don't be yapping. I don't talk too much, so you gotta catch me when you catch me, bro. <laughs> Man, so shout out to everybody on the Patreon showing love. Shout out to our free subscriber, man. Shout out Jalen Strong, but you really strong as hell on the set. Shout out Darnell, bro. I'm at Darnell Vander Van, Vander Von, Vondi? Vander, Vander Van Vondi. Yeah. Your name is hell. I thought I, my name was hell. Your name is actually hell. That shit is crazy. Shout out to Levi O'Neal, man. Your simple ass name, bro. Jordan Smith. Two first names, bro. <laughs> I mean, two last names, excuse me. Uh, Javarion Jackson. Javarion. Javarion Jackson. Ooh, you got a name on you, brother. Javarion. All right. <laughs> yep, we got to it. Now, who the hell <laughs> is Haba Shubu 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 shit? Yeah, yes, you cook. <laughs> yes, you cook. First name H A H A B S. G S U, that gotta be fake. You, you had to be just trying to make a quick name to be nosy. <laughs> I caught you because there's no way that's somebody real name. <laughs> that's that your parents cooked you. If that's your real name, your parents cooked you for life. And if you was in my class in elementary school or middle school, they got what fried you up. <laughs> so that I heart big booty freaks. Me too, bro. Shout out to you, man. <laughs> Farmington Fleming. That's a nice name. Very scholarly, you know. <laughs> Jean Paul Sr. Shout out to Junior. Hmm. Oh, there's a, he got a young nigga? He should. He's senior. Oh, sure. Shout out to you and your young nigga, bro. <laughs> Summer McIntyre. Okay. That's very, that's cool. He's a cool name. I can't, I can't roast you. That shit calm, bro. Because <laughs> I, I like a res, wrestler, his name, last name McIntyre, bro. Robert Shelton. Shout out to you, Robert Shelton. It's uh, a very formal name. I don't know if you're <laughs> black or white. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know if you're black or white. Let's see, but Robert Shelton. You think? I think it's a black name. I think of a black guy. Shelton. You think it's Shelton Benjamin? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but really? no, I think I think Shelton is a black last name, yeah. bro. You could be wrong, bro. You could be biracial. <laughs> you could be a both of them. Hey. So let's go. O'Shea. Shout out to you, O'Shea. Shout out to Drew. John to Jaquavion again. Shout out to Jesse Rodriguez, bro. I like that. I like the name Rodriguez because P Rod, bro. <laughs> Shout out to P Rod, man. Yo. Shout out to Key. Shut. Oh, that says Kev. <laughs> 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 I need my glasses. Shout out to my nigga Rob, man. Rob is such a get down to it name. Get man. down to it. Get down it's dirty. Very si- it's very- Not like that. I don't know what he's talking about. It's very simple. You keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Rob, you don't got to do too much when I'm explaining your name. Cool. Rob, your last name, though. Quash. <laughs> <laughs> they did tweak with you just a little bit, but it's unique. So I love uniqueness because my name itself is very unique. But We all got unique names here on the podcast. Quash is an interesting sound. There we go. Shout out to Cal, bro. You need a bit more creativity with your nickname, bro. Put Cali or Cali Cal or something, bro. Because <laughs> you ain't want a cookie, bro. I don't want a cookie, bro. Yeah. Uh, no. Noah. His name is Noah. He said he he, t- he DM me. He says Arabic. Okay. Okay. I fuck with a Noah. I fuck with a Noah. I like that. So no, the name No is Arabic. That's because what he the said. name Noah is in the Arabic. No, I think. Like it's said like na in I guess Arabic is said like Noah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Or is it? I don't know. Maybe Isabel Graham, bro. I like that name. That's a nice name. Shout out to Leek, bro. Leek. Shout Ooh, out to Leek. I fuck with Leek, bro. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but every Leek that I know, it's tough. I'll be fucking with him, bro. <laughs> so shout out to Leek, bro. DJ Willis. My dog. Is his name DJ? Probably. Or is he a DJ? 
Shout Ooh. out to you, DJ. <laughs> that I'll is be true. fucking with the DJs. Like, you better not be ass. You better not be spending no ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond Padilla. Padilla. Padilla, bro. How you be? Oh, you, you've gone down. Yeah, the I go down. Already, yeah, bro. I okay, always be Padilla. reading them, bro. Shout out to Padilla, though. Hmm. What are you? That, I'm feeling Raymond Padilla. Where do you think that name is origin? California. Padilla? Padilla. What a race. Mexican. Mexican? You think so? I'm thinking of Spanish, dude. So, mm. Like a South American, Latin, Latin American guy. Central American. Padilla. 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 I feel like that's definitely Spanish. So I always think like Cali. Or Texas. We got a lot of I don't, people. I don't know if I could. I'm trying to get a direct country. You know what? I'm just going to go out of limb. I'm going to say uh, Ecuador, bro. That's good. That's not bad. That's a good guess. Uh... Alyssa Smith. What, what race are we guessing? White. White. That's Smith. Smith. I always think of white people. No. You know Smith. why? It's because it's because of Jason Smith. Not even J.R. No. Smith. No. Smith. Smith. Uh, Mister. Mrs. Smith. Yes. That's. I'm going. I'm going Alyssa, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like Alyssa is a white but name. Alyssa, let us know. No, it's not though. Really? I think Alyssa is a multicultural name. Oh, it is a multicultural. But I don't like. I. I don't know. Never met a black person named Alyssa. So we got Laquell Ingram. My boy from Harlem. Yes, sir. Ooh, shout out Harlem, man. Harlem world, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tyrone Bowens. That name sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about it sucks. Like, if I see you, bro, I'll probably slam you. Just because just I just hate that name. Like, Corey Petty, same thing. Like, terrible names. Like, Bad t- names, any, bro. Those people with those two names. Come if you ever on. meet those people in the streets, yo, yeah, just trip bro. them, bro. Yeah, just, just trip them. Make, make sure they fall yeah. every single time. They bro. need to fall. They need to Second get punished. Second round steals, bro. The five out of tears. D- DJ Khaled? DJ Khalid, I don't DJ know. DJ Khalid, bro? He might be the DJ. Uh, Muhammad? Yeah, Muhammad. There you Mohammed. go. Muhammad. Muhammad. Is it Muhammad? Muha- because they do say Mu sometimes. Yeah, they do say Mu, but I think it's Mo. I think it's Mo. To me, that that not to me right now. Yeah, yeah. Tyson, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Look at that. We got, uh, we got Trey Simmons, my dog. Shout out to my dog Trey Simmons from H Town, bro. Yeah, you know I'm saying. We got first round lottery picks. Those are ten dollars. Tavon Cop. Nope. I am not finishing that. You are tweaking with that last <laughs> name, brother. I know they used to cook in school, bro. They definitely did. I would definitely play with guys. Pause. Hey, yo. Damn. <laughs> play with guys what? I would play with, like, making jokes on a nigga name. Anyway, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. You won, bro. Because you get to hear a nigga say freaky shit every time they say your name, bro. Keep going, bro. We got Leon Pole. I said his name. Pool. It's uh, Leland. That's what he told me. It's, he he Filipino. I know that. Leland. It ain't Leland. Leland. Damn, I'm really black as hell. Yeah, that Leland. He said Leland. Is it Leland? <laughs> it's Leland. Is that Leland? Nah, he's Filipino. That's like Leland. Oh, ah, Leland. Ah, nice. Leland Pua. Oh, ah, shout to me. Uh, shout to me. Uh, I see that. Second round still. I like to see that. That's nice. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Is that everybody? That's it. That's everybody here. Yes, sir. Here everybody subscribe to our Patreon. We got a lot more content coming up there. We got a lot of exclusive things. We got more episodes, and we're also posting a lot more um, other videos on there. But yeah, thank y'all again for tuning to another episode of No Rex Podcast, episode number 159. If you're watching this episode, my birthday is actually on Friday, so this will be the birthday podcast. Shout out to everybody. Yes, if you wish me happy birthday, thank you. If not, it's all it all is good. It is what it is. But any last words, UJ? Uh, we blessed, but we different than regular, man. I'm regular. Go Gangster, bro. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.